You may have seen me do many different product reviews here on my site. One thing you may have noticed is that with a few exceptions, my reviews have been focused on three areas, camera bodies, lenses, and lighting. For me, those are the foundational elements of my photography workflow. When I learned about the RAV Power 5-in-1 wireless SD card reader and power bank, I may have been a bit skeptical. After all, I feel like I already have everything I need to go from image to product. But once I started using this little guy, it helped me in some ways I didn't expect. It's far more than a wireless SD card reader or power bank. Okay, first let's take a look at the device and then I'll tell you about all of its five uses. It's very small and light. It's close to the size of my iPhone 4 here and it's even lighter, which is a big plus when I'm already weighed down with gear. Now let's go through its uses. Number one, the most basic thing that it does is charge your phone. You charge it up with the included USB cable and then you take it along with you anywhere. When you need some juice, plug your phone in here and you're charging in no time. I gain about 1% per minute on my iPhone all the way up to full charge. This isn't a one trick pony though, and charging is really just the beginning. Number two, it allows you to transfer files, whether they be photos, movies, music, or whatever else, amongst many of your devices. There is a USB port here where you can plug in a USB memory stick or external hard drive, or you see here that there's an SD card slot. I'll go ahead and insert a card. And there's a button here on the side which transforms the device into a wireless access point. In other words, this lets you share the contents of the SD card or USB device wirelessly. This little battery powered device actually sets up its own Wi-Fi network, which is easily recognizable by all of your gadgets and computers. There are apps available for your computer, iPhone, iPad, and Android devices that allow you to read and write to the card or USB devices while they're plugged into the gizmo. I've been using AirStore on my iPhone and iPad. What this means for me is that I can get my camera files from the SD card to my iPhone or my iPad wirelessly wherever I am with something that will also charge up my phone while I'm out and about. Now let's think about this. Say I take that once in a lifetime photo with my DSLR and I want to do some edits and share my masterpiece right away but I don't have my computer with me. And of course, on phones like this, you can't plug in the SD card. So I plug the SD card into the five in one, open the AirStore app to move the file over to my phone or my tablet, and now I have editing and sharing capability out in the field with no computer around. What do I mean by sharing capability, you ask? First, you photographers can get your shot with your best gear, but once you move the file over, you can share it like it were captured with your phone. I imagine getting my shot from my camera's SD card to my phone with the 5-in-1, possibly making edits in a photo editing app, then sharing it with you guys on Facebook using my phone's data plan. But you aren't limited to an SD card. You can also plug in a USB memory stick or even a USB hard drive to share whatever files you want. That brings me to number three, another way to share. This can also act as a file server. You plug in an SD card or a USB memory stick or hard drive, then five users can connect to this simultaneously. That means that you can move your files around amongst your own devices, but I'm imagining that it would also make collaborating on a group project so much easier, which then brings me to number four. You can use this as wireless storage. Say you leave a memory card in here, or leave it connected to a USB memory stick or hard drive, or both, and it becomes kind of like cloud storage, except the cloud is right here under your control. Number five. It can also act as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Because my phone connects to only one Wi-Fi network at a time, I lose my regular Wi-Fi connection when I connect to this. Using the software on my phone though, I connect this to my regular Wi-Fi router, again, all wirelessly, so that I can see my SD card wirelessly and be connected to the internet at the same time. That makes me think. They really kept you and me, the users, in mind when they put this together. It would have been very easy for them to make this peer-to-peer -peer and walk away. Instead, they went the extra mile and made sure that you can connect to your own little personal cloud here and then the whole internet at the same time. Does my process have room for this high-tech gizmo? It sure does. I can keep it in my camera bag, my hiking pack, or even my pocket, and I'll be able to charge my phone and move all my photos and files around. No wires, no mess, no problem. Interested? Check out the video description below to see where you can read more, find out exactly which devices are compatible, and even get your hands on one.